by Ben Stubbs here, and welcome to this lesson for the flamenco guitar. In this tutorial, we'll be going over four beautiful strumming patterns that you can integrate with Entre los Aguas. And I made an introductory video showing you how to do these rhythmic patterns, and you can check that out in the link below in the description to view that video lesson. So without waiting any further, let's get started. Vamos. Now for this, we're going to take everything that we did with the strumming patterns on the right hand, and we're going to keep that. The only thing that we're going to change is what we're doing with the, the fretting fingers. So previously we had the E minor add 9, now we're going to erase that and start with our tonic at A minor 7. Next one is B minor 7, back to A minor 7, and then B6 sus 2, and then B7. You can add on that extra uh, F sharp there with your pinky finger, like that. So those chords once again, A minor 7, B minor 7, A minor 7, B6 sus 2, and then B7. Hey guys, real quick, don't forget that you can download all these tabs, interactive tabs, backing tracks, and more over at patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you. Get deep into the material and deep into your journey on the flamenco guitar. Let's get back to the lesson. Now let's go to our first strumming pattern, the Raqueo Molinillo. So... That's the one that has a slap on the three, right? So that one is going to be used when you want a more percussive element in your playing, right? Again. Then pattern number two, the simple pattern. This is just simply strumming up and down, up and down. Uh, no raqueos, no slapping or anything like that. So we have. on that one but what I do want to make clear is that the accents on all these ones and especially this one is on the one the end of two and the four so make sure that when you do that four slap down we're well not slap but the uh, downward stroke that they're briskly running across the strings so that you get that punchy kind of sound and it's consistent right let's do that pattern number two again one and two and three and four and Pattern number three. This time we're going to use a palm mute on the four beat. So that's a karate chop down along with the index strumming along all the strings. So you get this type of sound, this choppy sound, right? So let's give it a try. That's on the four beat. We're going to remain keeping the accent on the one, the end of two, and the four. Pattern number three. Let's give it a go. Here we go. One, two, and three, and four. And... Hey guys, real quick, if you're a jazz guitarist, classical guitarist, metal guitarist, rock guitarist, whatever the case may be, and you've been dabbling in flamenco guitar for a while, and you need some help, then I highly recommend that you click on the link below to schedule a free 45 minute one-on-one -on -one call for your flamenco guitar master strategy session. Yes, so we can take you to new heights to where you wanna be for the rest of your life on the flamenco guitar. Now back to the lesson. Now pattern number four, the sneaky beat. This is where we start on the end of one. We still maintain all the same accents and then we retain the palm mute that we did in pattern number three. Let me show you how to do it. So we rest on number one and then the and is upward B like that. Two and three and four and. Now the end of four is a downward thumb, very softly played, not with a nail at all, only flesh like that. And then we lead into the next 
next measure, same thing that we just rest on the one and then the next, and of one and then down, two, up, and of two, and then three, just let it hang out there, and then up, index, and then down, scrape, palm mute, and then down, thumb. Okay, pattern number four, let's give it a go. One and two and three and four in. Let's try that pattern number four, uh, this time a little bit faster, a little bit more aggressively. One and two and three and four and... That's it. Thank you so much for watching. A special thanks to all our supporters at patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you. You make this channel possible, and without your support, we couldn't be here. So thanks again. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.